Welcome to Fallout 76, this is Jim. Today is Sunday, April the 9th, which means for a lot of people, it's Easter. And for those of you who don't celebrate Easter, happy holidays. And uh, this is my first time I'm going to do a premiere. Uh, so if uh, you missed out, don't worry. Um, I'm hoping to do more of them. I just thought I'd try it out because I have a little extra time today. At some point, I will be going live, but uh, I would say some point because I would need to upgrade a, to a lot uh, than what I have now to go live. So um, I'm going to try the premiere thing for now and see how it goes. So those of you who do catch it, I uh, welcome aboard. I appreciate you guys watching and the viewerships and the subscribers. I really, really do appreciate it. It's a lot of fun playing this game, and uh, if you missed out, no worries. Uh, I'm sure I'll, you'll catch me again. Uh, so we're just going to go in the wasteland. We're just going to have some fun. Probably going to be a little longer episode than I normally make. Uh, sometimes my episodes are just a little over a minute. There's a point to that. It's quick and easy daily, weekly challenges. Where I'm at today, we're going to start this off. We're at the uh, Kitty Corner Cabins. We have one uh, daily challenge left to do. It's uh, kill a cryptid with a railway rifle or missile launcher. Now, I did this one the other day. Basically, I'm just at a different location than I'm normally at. And uh, once again, I have the uh, boomstick. And I got a couple uh, missiles on me. Hopefully, I have enough. Uh, as we all know, kitty corner cabins, there could be uh, rat scorpions or there could be uh, snallygasters. Snallygasters count as cryptids. Best thing to do is you aim for the body. You still got one off on me, see that? <laughs> There you go, so that's done. Now that disappeared now, so that's good. It's been checked off. Pretty awesome, that's how easy it is. We're going to fast travel back to my camp, which is fairly close, and there's someone there right now. Let's go to a uh, train station, and we'll just put it in the old stash. Just on the... Uh, not carrying that around. The boomstick itself doesn't doesn't have that much weight to it, but the missiles do. This particular uh, weapon has uh, reduced weight, legendary effect on it. So, all right, that back. Put uh, missiles back. Perfect. Alright, we're going to go to my weapons I have been using lately. It's the uh, Furious Recall Compensated Plasma Rifle. Let's take a look at that, actually. That's uh, all I might not be able to show you here. No. I'll show you this, uh, next time I get to a weapons workbench. Right, let's drink something here so I don't uh, know you too much. Alright, there we go. Alright, so let's see what we got on the board here for uh, some events. This one down here, breach to clear. We can go down and do that one, I guess. We can kind of work our way up. I kind of know I changed my mic around a little bit, so I don't know if other players can hear me, but I know sometimes they can. And uh, to be honest, I'd rather them not hear me. <laughs> uh, but, uh, oh, there's a vent right over here the Defend Red Rocket Mega Stop. So let's go over there and do that. Fast travel. Did a video there earlier today, that same location. 
I don't know if they just saw my video or they just thought of their own, but uh, it's pretty cool to see. See what we got to deal with here. We have to go to the front entrance. Alright, got some ghouls. Got him that time. Alright. You can hear some more of them kind of trucking around somewhere. That's one thing I don't like about this particular location is uh, there's lots of, as I mentioned in the video I made earlier the today, there's lots of hiding spots for them. Oh, well, he's actually up the roof there. if we can get it from here. Nice. The other guy's hiding, of course. Oh, here he is there. Come on. I don't think they can get up on this section, but I could be wrong. Oh, there's one over there. on the first wave here. We might have to uh, hit down. I find uh, these particular events kind of iffy. Sometimes they'll show up like little diamonds. On those makes it easier. Oh, there's somebody there. And then other times you gotta go find them. Alright, hopefully that uh, brings us to wave two, but we might need one more. Oh, to see the diamonds show up. Still in there. Come on, buddy. Oh, yeah, he's on the other side of the building. There we go. These plasma cartridges there. Grab these gold forks, never know we're gonna need that. Grab that silver pocket watch, why not? Feels like someone's breathing down our neck here very shortly. Jesus! <laughs> oh, I got something. I got something. Nice. Grab a disease cure here. Nice. See what else we got here in the map. Let's check out this breach and clear and uh I don't know if we're gonna be too late for it or not, but we'll check it out anyway. Attention, possible agitator Yeah. 
I'm the agitator. <laughs> oh, yeah, all kinds of time. Nothing but time. This is a good one if you're ever looking for some ball miners. Uh, real good spot. Ball miners carry a lot of shotgun shells on them. So if you're looking for shotgun shells, looking for some black titanium, also a good uh, source. Now you see this little spot here? See how he's not popping up? That's that's the uh, ball miner head right there. So I like to kind of jump on him a little bit. There we go. So if you're ever doing this and you're kind of wondering uh, how come the small miner's not working or you think the game is spazzing out, that's how you solve that problem. I know it took me a little while to figure it out one time. A little guy in there. Come on, buddy, wake up. There we go. Shoot him in the face a couple times, you know. <laughs> when you're doing breach and clear, I highly suggest you get up on the building. Or somewhere as high. And uh, that way there you have uh, place yourself in a good location, have a little bit of advantage over them. Steer clear of that, they'll kill you. I did this event like a long, long time ago and someone had put in the comments, you know what, I don't collect anything, but I don't really collect ores too much. Um, I find they're heavy. And, uh, don't really have the time to break them down, um, so that's why I don't really collect too much from those uh, from those little doors. There's little hatches. Funny how slow they walk and then they just start running. Quite something to watch. Huh. Still in danger, there's one around somewhere. Could be near the side of the building here, let's check. There he is, there. Locking its uh, or unsealing, whatever it's called. I find it funny how they hide behind the fence like that.
No, I'm up here. Oh, there's a mall rat moving around over there. Another mall rat on its way to help his buddy. Kinda want to, kinda not want to. Oh, Mr. McGann, jeez. <laughs> oh my god. That uh, hurt. <laughs> Get out of the way, fat way Jeez. Thought there was another uh, little ball router kicking around. All right, Dot. That guy while we're up here. You gotta remember when you're done breaching clear, chances are there's like a an unofficial wave that kind of comes by. When you're done, you think they're all clear, they're not. Go down and collect all your goodies there. It's uh, be another round of mole miners that you haven't killed. Just an FYI on that. But uh, essentially, it's a pretty, probably one of my favorite uh, events to do. And uh, one thing good about this, you'll come across the odd glowing one as well. So, pick up some stuff here. This miner suit scrap that's good for black titanium, as I say. Of course, uh, mole miners, their favorite weapons are the shotguns. So, you'll find a lot of shotgun shells and different variations of shotguns. Alright. Let's check over here real quick. See if I can see if they drop any plasma cartridges. I highly doubt it. Ball miners don't really... Oh, there's... There you go. There's 12. That's, that's better than nothing, I guess. Yeah, we'll grab that aluminum can. Aluminum cans are pretty good. Alright. We're in danger now, so what's uh, something around us? I don't see it. Anywho, what do we got here? Oh. Project Beanstalk. Alright, let's. Uh spawn an event in ourselves. Let's go to uh, Morgantown Airport and uh, we'll see if we can spawn a collision course. Go to the airport itself. And... Get rid of this uh, legendary that we just got from that event. Don't need to keep me carrying that around. All it's doing is just weighing me down. All right, let's also get rid of some of this ore that we uh, collected as a reward stuff. As I said, I'm not a big fan of it there. There's a plan that we don't even know. Wow, amazing. We'll sell this one here. All right. Our caution. Probably uh, scorched over there, kind of sees us, maybe a scout. Guys running around here. Whoa. Disappeared. See that? See ya, bud. That's weird. Some trippy going on there. 
Alright, let's see what we got here. I find collision course is a good uh, event to do. You'll get a lot of ammo back. Do a collision course with the scorch that show up. I'm kind of hoping that it'll show up for us, and then you'll be able to see. Yeah, right through the uh, right through the sea can there. Because it goes both ways sometimes. Plasma cartridge is nice. I would say the uh, plasma rifles, uh, like this enclave plasma rifle I have here, it's um, it's really loud. And the uh, legendary effect I have on it is uh, suppressors. So it really helps out um, fighting, fighting enemies, I guess. Once when they know where you're at, they know where you're at, but most times I can get off a lot of shots that are, you know, extra sneaky. Extra sneaky bonus. We're going to be leveling up here soon. Let's cross our fingers, see if we can uh, spawn this collision course in. Beautiful. Activate that bad boy. Now those of you, uh, this is probably one of my favorite events as well. Just because I can spawn it in don't have to fight the uh, Scorch Beast that's flying overhead, you can pretty much ignore it. Sometimes it's a regular one, sometimes it's a uh, legendary. Um, they're passive. If you fire at it, it'll fire at you, but uh, essentially you don't have to even shoot at them. Unless you're looking for a Scorch Beast, this is a good way to call one in. Do a collision course, but as I say, like if you don't bother it, literally it won't even bother you. It doesn't even know that I'm here. I think it's after the fourth wave it disappears anyway. Flies off to the sunset. Find its other Scorch Beast friends have a party or whatever they do. This event's a lot funner to do if you have a couple people, because then there's a lot of Scorch that pops up. A lot. And, um, especially if there's, like, a Spooky Scorched or Holiday Festive Scorched, there's a pretty good chance of them showing up as well. Oh, missed them. Now I have done this event before where the Scorched actually attacked the uh, Scorched Beast. Uh, it'll eventually stop. You don't have to fight the Scorched Beast. Basically, it'll come. It'll, it, the event will last a little bit longer. Um, but uh, the Scorched Beast will just fly away. You can carry on with the event. See, we're going on, uh, he's flying away that way, gone. Oh, baby.
And you'll see what happens here with all these scorched. I'll have quite a few plasma cartridges to pick up. I'll pick up these other rounds that I use sometimes. Now it all depends on uh, how many scorched you get, of course, but uh, they have a lot of grenade launchers here today. I don't know why. Weird. You played this game long enough, you'll come across sometimes, you're like, why? Just why? <laughs> Can't even answer it. No one will be able to answer it. But, uh, yeah, it's just a, just a regular thing here. It's here too, might as well. Plasma cartridge. That was pretty steak. Cotton candy bites, oh baby. What else we got here? Plasma cartridges. Yeah, we'll grab that. More excessive pieces that I know what to do with. person can hear me or not, but uh, I changed a few things around, I guess. I, I will drop some stuff here next to this bag I dropped earlier, fire axe. Alright, that's pretty much it for that. Alright, cool. Let's go up here to Grafton, spawn another event, hopefully, either uh, Grafton Day or Protest March, see what we can find up here. Grafton Day, beautiful. Where is he at? He's on the other side of that building. trick with the old Grafton monster. Aim for the blowholes. That's why you, when you see me fight the Grafton monster, I'll say aim for the blowholes or go for the blowholes. This isn't here I bought. Mind your business, okay? <laughs> All right. Done. Last night's dinner. There's a couple super mutants around normally. Let's go on this little uh, shed here. I think there's a uh, weapons workbench in here. Yeah, right there. Perfect. All right, weapons workbench. Let's take a look at what I'm uh, using today. Should have probably showed you at the beginning. Um, stalkers, which I said suppressors, but I guess it's stalkers, I guess. Stalkers, night vision, enclave plasma rifle, not in combat, 100% fast accuracy at percent AP cost, 25% damage while aiming, 80% faster reload. And, 
plasma cartridges. That's pretty good. And then I have, uh, actually we'll keep talking about the Enclave plasma rifle. So it took me a long time to find the uh, mods for it because the mods are very hard to find. Um, Enclave events that happen, that's how you can grab them. I know a lot of the mods that I have now, I, I basically bought from other players' vendors, uh, like the True Sniper Barrel, Stabilized Stock, Medium Night Vision Scope, just a standard capacitor. I like to get a different capacitor, but uh, is what it is. All right. This uh, Furious Recoil Compensated Plasma Rifle, this is just a regular type uh, plasma rifle. Started off as a plasma pistol, but I turned it into a rifle. Got a gamma wave emitter, stabilized flamer barrel, stabilized stock, reflex sight. Of course, it's uh, furious. Percent limb damage, damage increases after each consecutive hit on the same target. And for this type of weapon, I think that's pretty good. It's basically just a glorified uh, flamer. And 25% less fats action cost points because you're. I know for me, I use fats and I'm just kind of be holding the trigger, so. Pretty good weapon. All right. Let's uh, see what else we got going on here. Not too much going on. Be quiet, jeez. Oh, we got most wanted down there. I don't see it uh, on here. Must be almost done or something. That's weird. Zero participants. Huh. Well, I don't know. It's not even on the map. Odd. Let's go down here to the uh, vault Tech Agricultural Research Center, see if we can spawn in fertile soil. Let's do that. Perfect. Combat inhibitor for the robots. <laughs> Sir Wellington over there. <laughs> I said suppressors. I must have something else that's a suppressor, but uh, stalkers. Oh, he's passive. Not anymore. <laughs> he's destroyed. This guy's passive too. Oh, missed him. Whiffed him. One more for good measure, why not? hiding. we coming after me here in a second. Perfect. Come on, boys. Operations there, bud. Have that bobby pin. 
Grab that stim pack. Yeah, there we go. All right. Yeah, so there we go. Oh, there it is there. Yeah, let's do it. Actually, you know what? We're not going to do it because last time I did it, there was a copyright claim against Yeah, So we're not going to bother doing that for whatever reason. The music that they use or most wanted is like a copyright claim against this uh, YouTuber. So I won't do that right now. I definitely won't be able to premiere it then, if that's the case. There's there, okay. Anywho, so we're at uh, 36 minutes in. That's pretty good uh, for our premiere. The uh, fast travel back to the old camp. All in one, one for all. We get there sometime today. <laughs> There we go. One of my mini camps. I kind of change it up locations once in a while. You know, different uh, type of scenery. But, uh, yeah. What do you guys think of that premiere? Hope you guys enjoyed it. As I said, my first one. Um, as as I said before, at the beginning, you know, if you're able to make it, I appreciate it. Uh, if you did, if you saw it, you were, you were like, you know, missed it. Don't worry about it. There, I'll you know, I'll be definitely making more. And um, of course, this is my first one, so I just wanted to try to more or less just try it out. Hope you enjoyed the video. I appreciate the likes and the subscriptions, the viewership. Thank you all. Have a nice day.